Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Um, if you want to join my live stream, check out the link in my description and in the comments. We're going to talk a little bit about my portfolio, what coins are actually in it, but more than that, which coins I want to swap out for other coins. And I will actually tell you why. Like, I'm not going to go into what, like, what percentages my portfolio has, but I am going to tell you like which ones I which coins I want to swap out for other coins. So my portfolio right now basically consists of BTC, VET, ADA, ETH, Ken, XRP, and BAT. Um, the BTC I'm going to keep most likely because the BTC is kind of an anchor for my portfolio. It's not a very big percentage, honestly, but it is an anchor and it provides me some kind of stability and safety. VET, I believe in its long-term potential. It's been doing pretty decently the last couple of days. I'm going to keep VET because I don't really know the trading range for VET yet, even though I've been covering it for a long time. Um, it can, I believe, blow up at any time, and it's actually doing fairly well right now, so I'm going to keep the VET. ADA, I'm obviously waiting for Shelly and Gogan. I have no, I have, uh, no um, plans to trade my ADA within the next two or three months. Until like that, uh, until that Coinbase staking announcement, I'm probably not going to get rid of ADA. Ken, I basically I basically swap my LTC for Ken, um, and the reason I did that is because first I don't really believe in LTC anymore, and two Ken is kind of like a binary proposition. It's basically a coin flip, and it's a very big risk. Either they win the lawsuit or they don't. If they win the lawsuit or settle, they will go up. If they lose the lawsuit, yeah, that's like a waste of money. But since I'm only betting about 100 bucks on Ken, it doesn't really matter all that much to me. So that leaves ETH, XRP, and BAT that I may want to trade out. Now, I won't completely trade out of BAT because I keep on getting new BAT every month from the Brave Browser thing. So I'm always going to have at least a couple, like a couple hundred dollars in BAT. But outside of that, I might trade some of my BAT out. Because um, that, while it does have movements and it has a lot of news, I actually see it taking quite a while for like really um, brave, like a lot of brave users to actually start really using Bat. Their plans and goals are good and very ambitious, but they're more long-term plans and goals. So Bat, uh, even though Bat only has 1.5 billion supply, I actually do believe that um, it might not see a little bit of, a lot of price action for a little while. But you know, in the years to come, I think Bat will do fine, and I actually have a large, a decently large holding stack of Bat that I'm just basically like just holding there and uh, not really touching or moving. But I, I will probably trade uh, out some of my Bat. Now that leaves uh, XRP and ETH. I'm probably gonna trade. I'm really thinking about trading, swapping out the XRP for ICX. I think ICX can give me a lot more profits a lot sooner, and I don't really believe XRP is going to go anywhere. And I actually think ICX is probably a better investment at this point because ICX I think is quite safe because ICX does have the um, they basically have the support of the Korean government, and I think they're definitely going to be involved with a new Korean ID project. Essentially, the Korean government has already mandated ICX for a couple of things with Icon Loop, and it's essentially going to be their national crypto. So I think I, ICX um, is actually a very, very safe coin uh, to actually invest in right now. And I think with the Korean government essentially adopting them, they're going to grow a lot. Now, you might say, are they confined in Korea? Yeah, sure, they might be confined in South Korea some uh, for the most part. But South Korea has 50 million people. And if all of them use uh, Icon with MyID, that's a lot more usage than most other coins. Plus, ICX's uh, market cap is pretty low right now. And the supply is only 800 million um, compared to like 99 billion for XRP. And they're about the same price right now. I think ICX is slightly more right now. I'm not really, sh not completely sure. I think ICX is slightly more. But the supply to uh, price ratio favors ICX a lot. And I think ICX can get grow sooner than XRP. And plus, I think they'll both go up in a bull run. And I actually think ICX has a lot more ROI potential than XRP. I think price per coin wise, ICX can grow much, much higher than XRP. Remember, ICX has been at $10 before, where XRP maxed out at $384 or so. So realistically, I'm, I'm probably going to end up swapping my XRP, most of it, for ICX. The other one is I'm thinking about swapping my Ethereum for something like Theta. Um, Theta has actually grown on me a lot lately. Um, ICX, I mean, swapping out the, uh, swapping out for ICX comes first, but I'm actually thinking about swapping out the ETH for Theta. Um, 
I mean, ever since like you know, Google has Google is at, has like five million data that like state that is staking. They use Google Cloud. Um, Google is one of their validators. They also have uh, a deal to stream MGM content, which is huge. And um, they also have a partnership with Samsung uh, Samsung TV or like Android TV or something. And that's really cool as well. So I think they can actually grow a lot. Um, with a, a billion supply and the prices, prices they are right now, it's really not that high in price. And I actually think their explosiveness is much greater than Ethereum's. Plus, they just the mainnet 2.0 just came out, and they just introduced data staking. If Binance, um, you know, if Binance actually supports it, I think they'll go up again. Um, and if Coinbase, you know, lists them and supports staking, they'll obviously go up. That's another thing. Like when I look at coins that are starting to get partnerships, I look at like which exchanges they're actually on already, and do those changes exchanges accept staking? If these coins are actually get, actively getting partnerships and they're not on certain big exchanges yet, or those exchanges don't support their staking, then like those are possibilities for price rises. Whereas something like you know Bitcoin or XRP, they're already on all the exchanges, and anyone that, well, neither of them have staking, but if any of the, and, uh, but, and all those um, exchanges that actually offer some kind of return on investment for those coins have already offered it. So they don't really have that opportunity to pump anymore. Whereas like coins like VET, ICX, um, I, I, ICX and Theta, there's still like some exchanges that could actually support, um, bring on support for what they're staking or like other functionalities. And there's other exchanges that they can get listed on. So they have mo like more points where they could actually boost. So I kind of like score a point system as well. Like if your coin is actually legitimate and I, th I think is legitimate and it's actually um, has a lot of partnerships and use cases, like I look at like, okay, is it listed on Coinbase, Binance, um, is it listed on like, does it have staking on Coinbase, Binance? How about Coinbase US and, uh, and those other things? If the answer to, if the answer to any of those questions is no, I consider that sort of almost a plus for some coins because that means like when they get listed on those exchanges, they can actually go up. Whereas coins that are already listed on those exchanges, they don't have that particular pump opportunity. So that's another reason I'm actually switching to ICX and theta i'm also looking at chain link and i might swap some bat for the chain link um the only problem i have with chain link is that it actually multiplied 20x between last year and this year so if you really look at like uh you know like xrp ada um tron essentially like when a coin has a big come up like that it's basically a one-time thing until the next bull run so i'm guessing the chain link may not actually go up that much more uh, if we if uh, Bitcoin does not uh, have another bull run or until Bitcoin has another bull run. So based on that, I'm a little hesitant on Link. But I'm definitely looking to swap out uh, XRP and ETH for um, ICX and Theta. And I've explained why. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.